most guys want to get taller because for some reason all the guys think that if you get taller that's going to improve your confidence you're going to get all the girls and that's not true because i grew from 5 11 to 6 6 and at the end of the video i'm going to tell you guys how i was able to do this but at the same time before i tell you guys how to grow taller i'm going to tell you guys why i don't think that height actually affects your confidence so but before i get started this is day 17 of posting two videos every single day on this channel bro the goal is to help people self-improve and grow this account to a million followers and inspire millions and millions and millions of people to improve their life in some way on some little facets but that's just the goal but yeah so lock in from start to the end and yeah let's have a conversation guys so also before i get started though if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about in particular just let me know in the comments so first off my journey with my height so guys it's important to know that yes height might be something that is mainly genetics but there has been research that shows that around 20 percent of your final height is actually affected by your by other factors excluding your genetics and i will run you guys through what these factors are at the end of the video so lock in and stay tuned for that bit but anyway before i get to that bit guys um i grew up in an environment where i was fairly tall nothing too crazy probably around the five eight five nine in school which is maybe just an inch or two taller than maybe one of the initially not one of the tallest guys but later on in high school i became one of the taller guys and one thing that i didn't like was the fact that when you're tall you stand out you can't help but just stand out and if you start to perceive this view of yourself or perceive yourself because you stand out as someone or you just don't like that attention, you start to find the reason why you don't like that attention. And that's exactly what happened to me. Because yes, I did grow tall up until I was like maybe 5'10", 5, 5'11", 5, and everything was okay. And everything was everything was good. However, but because people would say, make certain comments about my height, or because I would get a certain amount of attention because of my height, it was something that I started to resent. So in as much as that thing was something that a lot of people desired, a lot of people wanted to be taller, but because in my head, I was getting so much attention, I did had so much attention that I didn't like, I almost like demonized my height. And this is something that a lot of tall people have to go through, especially, especially tall girls. Most a lot of tall girls don't like the way, don't like their height, and this is not just me speaking in general. I actually, I actually know a couple of tall girls who would rather not be that height, and those girls only have that opinion because they hadn't accepted it. So I'm using the height as an analogy here to just show, tell you guys that listen, you might have something that has a lot of value in general but it's all about your perception if you don't view that thing as worthy that thing wouldn't be worthy in your view in as much as someone else views it as something that has a big prize but because of your perspective of that thing isn't the best it's gonna affect you bro i don't know if you guys know that one friend who might not be very tall might not have a lot of things going for him maybe with his looks might not be the best in terms of maybe i don't know like maybe it might not have a reason to be confident but he's just that guy he get everyone loves him he's that guy where he gets all the girls all that stuff the only reason why that happened for that for happens for that guy is because of his perception there could be one or two things that makes him feel confident that he's and he's been able to accept what he can't change guys i hate to break it to you yeah your height will always be your height you might be able to make certain changes with this but you, you, no one is ever gonna grow from if you're five two brother no one's ever gonna grow to seven feet you understand there could be certain things you could do to improve your height and all that stuff however you have to accept what you have and anything that comes as well is just an addition it's just something that you're like okay you know what i'm happy where i was and if i grow in this hole i'm happy as well when i was six when i got six three for me 
I didn't like it, man. I'm going to be very honest with you. I didn't like wearing shoes that would make me seem a bit taller only because of the perspective. And now things started to turn around the moment where I started to go to the gym. I started to become a lot more confident in myself. And as a result of being confident in myself, what happened? I, I, was, I, was, finally in the, I was finally in a position where... I started to accept my height for what I had. So this is what I'm just telling you guys today to do, yeah? Starting today, there are things that you're going to be good at. Absolutely. Like, things probably, you're going to be, probably going to be better than at me. Let that thing be the flagship for you to steer you to the world of confidence. To steer you so you can climb that confidence ladder a lot quicker. Because if you start to focus on things you can't control, like in as much as everything I'm going to share with you guys in the video, like it might work for some people, might not work for other people, you, but you can't, at the end of the day, you can't control how tall you get. So don't stress about those things. It's okay if you're not that tall. It's okay if you're tall and you don't feel very confident. All these things are things that you can, you can accept it and just work on them and get better if i didn't go to the gym i know one thing for a fact i wouldn't have accepted how tall i am i, I would i wouldn't have accepted the fact that i just stand out and if that didn't happen honestly i wouldn't be here having a conversation with you guys today i've been able to work in these shoes and now i can tell you for a fact that's why i'm just come on here to just share my story with you guys and hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two from me guys i want you to understand that everything is all about your perspective if you can't shift your perspective about who you are it's going to be hard for you i keep saying this all the time who you are up in here is who you are outside because your mind is your biggest asset so never let yourself down with your mind never never do things never believe things that will take away from you always 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 do the things that can only add and nothing that takes away from you because i can guarantee 100 percent if you keep doing things that only take away from you maybe you keep feeling like you're less because you're not that tall or you keep feeling like you're less because certain things happen Guys, that's not going to change anything. All you can do is accept what you have, work with what you have to get what you want. If you're not that tall, you can get in shape. People who are a lot shorter can put on muscle a lot quicker. You can get in shape, get jacked, and that puts you in the best possible position to go out and laugh and then kill it. Not feeling sorry for what you don't have. Because if you feel sorry for what you don't have, it's going to be hard for you to actually make things work for yourself. But... That being said, for those people who actually want to grow taller and you might be struggling and you really want to know, um, before I tell you guys, give you a few tips, I did make a proper a full video on that. I'm going to link that in the video here so you guys can go watch the full video. But when I looked into the study to see how people can actually get taller, three things came up. External factors, <coughs> your food. So protein in itself plays a very, very important role when it comes to build the muscle and build the muscle and growing taller also making sure you get enough sleep at the very least seven to nine hours of sleep every single day and if you want to get know a lot more about this in, in detail i already covered this in another video so yeah go watch that and hopefully that gives you guys a lot more perspective on this but <coughs> that being said i'm going to end the video by saying this guys it would always always be about your perspective Whoever you are up here is exactly who you become outside. You can't let yourself kick yourself in the foot or shoot yourself in the foot because of the things you can't control. Anything you can't control, that's okay. Take it on the chin and keep going. At the end of the day, we have what we have and we can only use what we have to get what we want. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, yeah this is day 17 of posting every single day and turning up uh yeah making sure i stay consistent over the last few days i wasn't feeling too good but yeah we're back now i'm feeling a lot better now so which is great so yeah i'm gonna make sure the next two posts which is my post for tomorrow this is gonna be at 12 noon and 6 p.m sharp but yeah that being said if you guys have any questions or anything you want me to add on the videos moving forward any questions or topics you want me to tackle specifically just drop the comment below and yeah i'll make sure i get back to you but yeah at the end of the day just make sure you use what you have to get what you want 
and I'm sure you're going to crush it. I'll see you guys when I see you and have a good day.